Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. We're dedicated to delivering quality auto parts, expert customer service, fast and free shipping, all backed by our 100% satisfaction guarantee. So visit us at 1AAuto.com, your trusted source for quality auto parts. In this video, we're going to be working with our 1998 Ford F-150. We're going to show you how to remove and replace your vehicle's headlamp assembly. If you like this video, please click subscribe. We have a ton more information on this and many other vehicles. And if you need parts for your truck, you can follow the link down in the description over to 1AAuto.com. Here are the items you'll need for this repair. To remove your headlight, lift up on the two tabs behind it. Now sometimes you gotta wiggle them a little to get them to stay in place. And work your headlight out. You may be able to reach in from the back and push on it. You gotta make sure these tabs are fully disengaged. Over time they wear out and they tend to get a little stuck. Once that's out, you can unclip your headlight harness and remove it. On the inside edge of the fender is a seven millimeter screw. You'll want to remove that with a seven millimeter socket, ratchet, and extension. Once that's out, you can slide the turn signal assembly out of the grill, undo the tabs, and remove it from the vehicle. Here we have the old aftermarket headlights that we removed from our vehicle and our new parts from 1AAuto.com. As you can see, there are some clear aesthetic differences between the two headlights, these being a black housing with a smoked lens, this being a clear lens with a chrome housing in it. Otherwise, the actual function and bracketry of the headlights are exactly the same. Flip them over, you'll see we have the same bulb with the same collar. And we have the same mounting tabs and adjusting screws here. These are actually both what secures the headlight as well as what moves the headlight so you can align and aim them as you like. Some obvious differences here. We have a smoked lens which is going to hurt our light output and we have a black chrome type housing on the inside which is going to work against the reflective properties you want to have inside the housing of a headlight because it's actually supposed to pick up the light going back and send that out forward as well. This isn't going to do that nearly as well as the clear lens with the chrome housing is going to output light. So not only are these headlights brighter and safer, but they're also just like our original equipment. So if your old headlights are bad from a fogged, cracked, or moisture filled lens, or you're replacing an aftermarket part, these new parts from 1A Auto are going to go in direct fit, just like your original equipment. Get your headlights nice and bright so you can see safe and fix you upright. Plug in your headlight bulb and line up the pins with their slots so the tabs here will sit in between these two slots and go through that hole. And you can see the lock plate and how that works there. So you will have to kind of hold this up if your spring's weak and it doesn't keep itself up there. You want to line up the rear ones at the same time. Now you've got your new headlight in place. For your marker light, we'll just plug that in, line it up, slide it into place. When it's all the way set in, your hole will be lined up at the top. We'll reinstall that seven millimeter screw. So on the driver's side of our truck, we have the old smoked housing headlights that we're removing from our truck and replacing with our new parts from 1A Auto. I think the difference is pretty clear here. Much brighter, much easier to see on this side. This side is very dim. It's difficult to see. You're not getting a great light output either from the blinker or marker or the headlight, neither of those are really shining through as well as our new parts from 1A Auto are. These are facing straight ahead, right at level where they should be, and part of that is due to adjustment, whereas this one is actually shining on the wall over to my left, which is not what you want on the road. Obviously, you want to see in front of you. That's going to be shining off into the other lane, annoying other drivers, and not putting light on the road where you want it. Thanks for watching. 
Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.